Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another awesome and amazing color grading tutorial. And today we're going to be turning this image into this. Pretty sweet. And in this tutorial, we're going to be covering uh, some of the previous techniques I've been using in my older tutorials, as well as actually I'm going to be covering this time dynamic keyframes in our shots. So it's going to be very exciting, lots of new cool stuff, and we're actually going to refresh some of the older stuff from our previous tutorials. So let's get started. Uh, this is another file that's been downloaded from red.com from their sample directory. And also, you know, as you guys know, this is a red footage, obviously. And I'm going to be working in the red log space this time. Okay, so I just converted our footage in the red log. Let me bring scopes over here so you guys can follow along. And for this, I'm just going to keep, okay, probably RGB is fine for us. All right, and I'm just going to place it in the corner. Anyways, as you guys can see, and I don't know if, as usual, YouTube compression allows you to see it, this file has a lot of noise okay so in my first node i'm actually going to remove the noise i'm going to call it noise oops noise reduction okay and we're going to go over here and i'm going to put my classic number oops number two and number 10 values and let's check it out before and after as you can see it removes tons of noise and basically right now our image is flat so we're going to be working our way more to the final look that you've seen on the on the screen and as my previous tutorials this tutorial is absolutely unscripted i haven't prepared anything about it so i'm pretty much going to be going with the flow whatever i feel like i have no idea right now what i'm going to do so i'm going to create a new node and i'm going to call this contrast Okay, so this is going to be our basic contrast, and I'm going to bring up, bring down shadows a little bit, and I'm going to give it slightly little boost in the highlights over here. Anyways, so this is going to be our master contrast, and I'm going to place this thing in the back. And right away, I want to create a very interesting, uh, a little bit unique look for this. Maybe it's a part of the commercial or something fresh. I don't want to keep it classic film look. I want to give it a very interesting and refreshing appearance, okay? So, as we can see, there's pretty much uh, warm colors dominate in this image. So I'm not going to be doing any color balancing. I really like the way it looks. And uh, I'm going to start next node right away with the look, okay? I'm going to type in look. And in my look, um, I want to crush blacks just a little bit, just like this, okay, and bottom, all right, kind of, kind of like that, not, not too much, because if you're going to start going too much, it's going to look very, very cheap, okay, so let's check it out before and after, that looks really, really cool. Okay, let's play back the video. All right, that looks very, very nice. Also, maybe I want to emphasize a little bit more sunset. I want to make it a little bit more beautiful. So I'm going to create another node and I'm going to call this, whoops, uh, sunset. Okay, and what I'm going to do in this node, I'm actually going to create a gradient mask just like this. Okay, I'm going to turn on the highlight just like that uh doo -doo 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 -doo. power window okay i'm gonna lower it down a little bit and i'm only gonna select the brightest area which is gonna be our clouds our sky i'm gonna do a very nice soft feathering and what i'm gonna do i'm actually going to use color wheels and i'm gonna give it a slightly more orange feel and a little bit of of boost just like this let's see before and after before and after okay and as you can see let me highlight this 
it's going to stay pretty much in this area. So if I'm going to turn it on and off, you guys can see a little difference that it made. But it's all contributing to the final look. That is very, very cool. Okay, so next note, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start building the actual look. Okay, so I'm going to use layer note. And in the layer note, I'm not going to do anything too necessarily crazy. I'm going to go to the RGB, red, green, and blue, and I'm going to convert it to the monochrome. Let me play a little bit with the values, just like that to my taste. And I'm going to go into layer mixer, and I'm going to select uh, screen. There we go. I kind of want to have a slightly more like a virtual reality um, look like it's a computer graphic okay even though right now it's kind of look ridiculous but trust me once we're gonna start fixing everything it's gonna look pretty cool so I'm gonna go back to the uh, our layer node and I'm gonna go to the curves and I'm gonna start bringing down just a little bit I don't want highlights to be really really crushed like crazy okay so let's check it out before and after I really really like this Okay, that looks very nice and cool. Okay, next note. Next note, uh, I'd like to select the car. And as the car moving, I sort of, at the beginning, like to highlight the car being in the, inside the focus. And everything else is going to be slightly a little bit out of focus. As the car uh, moving along, we're going to reveal everything in our picture. So basically, we're going to be working with the keyframes. Okay, so this is going to be, let me actually move this thing around. <coughs> that way it's not taking too much space. Just like that. Okay, so this is going to be, this is going to be car. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do a mask. This time I'm doing a mask. Okay, just like that. Obviously, for the sake of tutorial, I'm not going to spend too much time on this just something really quick and basic and as I said before if you would be doing the paid work you probably should spend more time on the details because you always want to make sure that you produce only quality work so let's highlight and let's see let's make mask slightly softer okay I really like this and I'm going to try to do automatic tracking and see how, how well that thing does. So let's see. Well, it's obviously the car is still here. Okay. And let me, let's see. Let's track this thing forward and see if the tracker actually going to stick. Let's see. Well, it was okay up, up until this point, but it's okay. We can we can actually fix this thing. Let's see. Okay, power window. All right, uh, let's go in the frame, and we're going to do a little bit of manual tracking. Okay, oops. Just like that. Okay, very, very simple, very quick, because at this point, nobody really going to be checking tiny little details, okay? So, let's see, the car is going, okay. And from this point, I'm going to create another keyframe. I'm going to put this on the right place. Just like this. Okay, just like that is fine. Let's see. Okay, the car goes. It goes. Okay, we start losing it again. Okay, I'm going to add a keyframe. And I'm going to fix the mask. Just like that. Okay, I'm not even zooming in because no point. It's a tutorial. Very quickly. And it's gone. Okay, just for the sake of tutorial, I'm going to leave it as it is because I don't want to spend 
too much time on adjusting the little mask, okay? So, next thing, I'm going to go into the mist panel. And I'm going to add a little bit of mist in our shot. Let me go back to the mask, and I'm going to reverse the mask. So everything else is going to be slightly out of focus. In only thing going to be focused is our car. Let's say we're doing some NASCAR high-end commercial, you know, when things are moving fast, there's they have some cool music, so fast compilation of cool shots. Okay, so let me go back to the mist, and let me see where is the right point. Okay, so just like that, very, very nice. Our car is highlighted, very, very cool. All right. So I'm going to move the scopes on the side because at this point we don't really need them. And we're going to do a little bit of keyframing. Um, some of my YouTube viewers asked me to specifically to do tutorial on the keyframes. So I figured in this tutorial I'm going to implement a little bit of keyframes into the lesson. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to do uh, keyframing only in the node number 8. So let's locate the node number 8, which is our keyframe, okay, right over here. And if we're going to turn, if we're going to click right here, that means we're going to be creating automatic keyframes each time we move something around. Anyways, so let's say I want to right-click and select dynamic keyframe right over here. And right over here, I'm going to right click and select another add dynamic keyframe. Okay, so now we have a dynamic keyframes. So basically, um, over here, <clears throat> I'm going to align uh, the little, I don't know how you call it, the little selector right over here. And I'm going to go to the mist panel. And I'm just going to reset it, just like that. And as you can see, it's automatically created the, the keyframe. Just like this. Just like that, and it's gone. Okay, that is very, obviously, very basic um, keyframing. There's more stuff you can do. Just very simple for the sake of tutorial. I'm going to specifically dedicate another tutorial just for the keyframes. Okay, so for, for right now it works perfectly. All right, and I'm going to do another node. Let's see, and what else I can do? And in this node, I, I guess I can add a slightly little bit more creative um, color grading just to give a little look. And i probably just going to do with the curves, just kind of go like that maybe oops maybe like this okay maybe with the red I'm also gonna add some interesting interesting style just like that and let's check it out before and after okay I kind of like it that looks really really cool and finally because I'm such a huge fan of the film grain, I'd like to add a little bit of film grain just to make sure everything blends nice and smoothly. And you can add a uh, film grain through the mat, which you can see in my previous tutorials. You can add, if you have a full version of DaVinci Resolve, through open effects, or my favorite, I really love film convert <clears throat> uh, film grain. And let's turn the curve and the film color down. And I'm going to use my favorite super 16 millimeter grain. Let's make sure we're going to select GPU. Let's check it out before and after. That is my personal preference though. However, you can dial it down in the key tab. So let's say I only want just a tiny little bit. Okay. And that looks really, really cool. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon.